Hello and welcome to the summer edition of Currents, Ocean TV 20's hotspot for everything OCC. At Currents, we'll give you the latest on all the events happening on campus, as well as profiles of students and student life at OCC. We have the latest details in the NJCAA National Soccer Tournament, which will be hosted at OCC's state-of-the-art soccer stadium, and a live jazz performance of the Ocean County College Student Jazz Band led by Professor David Marowitz. We'll be talking to Mark Wilson, an OCC professor who's actively involved in launching the new Performing Arts degree program, as well as the new Jay and Linda Grunin Center for the Arts. But first, the National Junior College Athletic Association, also known as the NJCAA, has chosen our campus to host the largest collegiate women's soccer tournament in the U.S. Schools from all over the country will compete for the number one title and the chance to become national champions. I had the opportunity to talk with the college athletic director A.J. Trump and executive director Eileen Cohen for the updates on the tournament that will be sure to go down in OCC history. The tournament is the National Junior College Athletic Association Division III Women's Soccer National Championship. As far as the interest in soccer, um, the World Cup, the Olympics, soccer in general has had a tremendous change over the last few years and locally here hosting a national championship will also peak the community interest tremendously. There will be eight districts represented in the tournament. Teams from the Midwest, Texas, uh, upstate New York, New England, uh, Maryland, New Jersey, all over the country will be, will be coming here to, to participate in the tournament. There's a lot that goes into the event. Uh, you know, we have to secure hotels for the teams that are coming. Uh, we have to get out into the community. There's a lot of key people involved on campus as well as off campus. You have security, you have safety, you have grounds, you have facilities, accounting, obviously the athletic department. We have the TV crew. We have, you know, internet access, which will be going live for each game. So there's a lot involved through the president and his staff on campus and we all work as a team. The OCC soccer team has improved tremendously. We were a very young team last year. Those players now have a lot of experience under their belt. Uh, they'll be sophomores this year paired with some incoming really solid freshmen. We've, we're going to be a contender this year. We're excited. Being junior college, having only two years of players, every year the teams change, every year the teams are different. So it's anybody's game right now. We're going to be getting ourselves fit. We're going to be building our system of play. We're going to make sure that, you know, we have, we have our systems in place. We, we have a strong, solid preseason. We have a strong, solid regular season. And hopefully at the end, we'll be able to participate in the national championship right here on our home field. There will be pre-admission tickets well, that will be discounted, which would be available online. If you're coming to just one day, one game, there's separate daily event prices. Parking here, where the campus has got a lot of parking all over and we're going to separate parking for teams and officials and spectators in one area. Tournament's happening November 13th through 16th. There'll be four games on Thursday, November 13th. Uh, there'll be four games on Friday, November 14th, and then there will be three games including the national championship on Sunday, November 16th. We love the community, uh, bringing everybody together, showing the teamwork that this college is capable of is something that we're really excited about and we can't wait to showcase the, our beautiful campus and the beautiful Jersey Shore. Playing host for the next three years, the NJCAA Women's Soccer Tournament will without a doubt allow OCC to take its place on the national stage. The games will be streaming live on the internet and broadcast live on Ocean TV 20. When we come back, OCC is jazzing it up as students turn a semester course into a professional gig. Stay with us. This is disappointing. I know you can do much better than this. Okay, thanks. Hey, how'd you do? Another D. I just don't understand why I'm not getting it. I study the material, but it's just not making any sense. I suppose you aced it as usual. Not always. When I had trouble with class, I went online with Grade Results. Grade Results has the online tutoring, writing services, and help with homework that every college student needs to succeed. With one-on-one -on -one tutoring via live chat, Grade Results lets you work with a real person 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now that's more like it. Big improvement. Yeah. Need help with your college courses? For just $12.50 per half hour, Grade Results can help you make the grade. For more information, stop by the Ocean County College Bookstore or log on to ocean.edu bookstore. 
Look who's the ace now. I signed up for grade results at the OCC Bookstore. One of the newest programs making its debut in the spring of 2014 in the School of Performing Arts is Beginning Jazz Theory and Improvisation, taught by instructor of music David Marowitz. These and other courses are part of a much larger curriculum thanks to a generous donation given to the Performing Arts program. Now the entire curriculum is undergoing a larger-than-life revival with the addition of the new Jay and Linda Grunin Center for the Arts. With me now to give us more details of the program is Program Chair Mark Wilson. Hey Mark, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Now my first question to you is this, is can you describe what's coming for the college? And also if you could talk about anything with the new buildings or facilities or whatever direction they're going in as far as constructing it. Yes, we are now going to have a new performing arts degree in uh, 2014. We're very excited. This gives students the opportunity to get their degree, an AA degree, in performing arts and either music, theater, or dance. Um, or if a student wants to take a little bit of each of those different areas, they can have a, just a uh, performing arts degree themselves. Right. So this, this program was never offered before at OCC, ever. It was not offered before. We had classes in music where students who were interested in doing some music classes, they can do that. So you can get a liberal arts degree and take some music classes and then transfer to a four-year institution like that. But now students actually have opportunity to get a performing arts degree with a lot more emphasis and a lot more classes so they can really be um, more developed and, and ready to do that degree at a four-year institution. What exactly are you personally excited for the most with the new programs coming in? Well, I'm, I'm excited about um, the development of the new performing arts program. I'm also excited about some of the opportunities we're going to have with some artists coming to, out, to help out with some of our students. Uh, along with uh, this new performing arts degree uh, the, at the Jay and Linda Grennan Center for the Arts, we are also going to be bringing some high-end artists to spotlight and work with some of our, our students. Or these are artists who are not just uh, wonderful performers, but are also great educators. Uh, we have Bernie Williams coming in in October. He's going to be doing a master class and a workshop for our jazz students. This is a, a, a workshop open to all students on Ocean County College and also high school students in the area. Wow. It's free for them to come and actually be a, a part and listen to uh, Bernie Williams. Now, you mentioned the students about watching, you know, the, these larger than life figures that are coming in. What, besides that, what are the students most excited for with the new program? Well, I think they're excited to have the opportunity to, uh, to give more classes. I'll get, also have the opportunity to perform in a lot of different, um, uh, different shows that we're going to have going on, too. We are going to have, for the first time here at OCC, an opera in, in December, which I will be directing uh, with uh, Professor Gilmore, will be the music director. This, this opera is going to be call, uh, um, called A Mall and the Night Visitors. Not a mall like someplace you go, but actually right. the boy's name is a mall. Um, <laughs> and we're excited to be able to do this. It's a great opportunity for our students to not just do musical theater and theater, but also do opera, so they, it's a, a classical theater, so that our students can have a wide variety of music for them, themselves to do. Um, so with, with that, I think they're going to be able to, to expand a lot of things they're going to do. So if, if you do go to a four-year institution, you're going to have to be familiar with some of this, these different art forms that they might not be used to in, in right, high school. Right, right. Now they're, I mean, the way you're making it sound, especially with you know producing an opera, which I know for a fact is a larger than life like production, like mm -hmm. it's a big deal. So, I feel like this program is actually really preparing them for the future, which I feel like a, a lot of community colleges you really don't get that. Well, that's one of the, our goals is to prepare our students to go off in the world, go off and go to the different colleges. We want our students who are done here after two years. So when they can go into a four-year institution, they're ready. They're not right. sitting there, they're not lagging. They're not someone who said, I wish I would have done something different. We want to prepare them and in lots of many different ways, let them know what's to be expected of them. Now let's switch gears over to faculty. Now this is where it's really coming from. This is the soul, this is the core of the program. What are their reactions so far? Um, we're all very excited to be able to do this new, new degree program. I think one of the things we're going to be able to see is a a wide variety of, of faculty starting to um, get a chance to, do, to teach more classes than, than we had before. Uh, prior to having our degree, we had a limited amount of classes that we had. Now that we have this degree, we had to expand the offerings of classes in order to fulfill the requirements for this degree. And so uh, faculty are very excited to be able to teach a lot, a 
lot more classes that they can get a chance to really dig in, in a little more in depth with. So, I mean, I feel like it's definitely, it's going to attract, I feel like, even people from outside of the, of the county. Well, that's, uh, that's one of the things we're trying to do is, is to really uh, make a big footprint to really reach out. Because when students find out that they can come to Ocean County College and you get a chance to work with a Bernie Williams, you get a chance to work with someone like Natalie Weiss, um, you get a chance to work with someone like uh, Jeff Blumenkrantz, you get a chance to do these master classes, they're going to say, that's the same kind of level that I would get if I went to a four-year school. Right. So why, why not come to OCC? Why not, you know, uh, spend two years here, save money, get a great education, you get a chance to work with great faculty, get a chance to work with some great guest artists, get a chance to come see some wonderful uh, performances, get a chance to perform, because um, most students who are freshmen and sophomores, you got to wait until your junior or senior year in order to get a lead role yeah, right. at a four-year school, but why don't they get that experience now at a, at a two-year institution? Now, it seems that the future is looking pretty bright as far as, you know, we're really planting our flag in the sand here. Um, what do you think the future is looking like as far as for, for the performing arts program here at the school? Well, I, I know there are some plans for us to expand. Um, we are looking at um, building some new facilities sometime in the future to really expand on this program. We're looking at um, possibilities of, of having um, the Performing Arts High School possibly be down on, on our campus to be part of it. And I think those are some wonderful things. Um, with all that in mind, that really gives us the opportunity to really think big and, and, and um, become I would say more of a national player when it comes to community college, when it comes to performing arts. That's fantastic. Now, I, I can't believe how, like I, I'm excited for this. I mean, I, if, you, if I was gonna change my major, you would just, you just convinced me. Well, that's what I'm doing. Actually, <laughs> I, I've, been, actually, you know? I've been recruiting people all the time. I can tell, and it's working really well. But uh, I have to thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank it's good you. to see that good stuff is happening here at the college. Up next, we'll give you a taste of what OCC's Performing Arts program has achieved and we'll meet faculty advisor David Marowitz and his student jazz band discussing this exciting new program as well as giving us an exclusive live performance right here in the studio. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Eileen Cohn and this is AJ Trump. We're the athletic administrators of Ocean County College. We're very excited to be hosting the NJCA Division III Women's Soccer National Championship this fall. We hope to see you here in November at the beautiful Jersey Shore. Good luck to all teams this season. Please follow us on www.ocean.edu or the NJCAA Facebook page, NJCAA D3 Women's Soccer Championship. Well, the exciting thing is that we have a uh, major. We can major now, students can major in performing arts. And I think that's really great because we've had a lot of students that have come through the college and uh, there was no major like this, so they, they're, they're really destined to be music majors or art majors, dance, and uh, they're going through school, but in some ways they don't feel like, you know, I think it helps them focus that, hey, they really, they're, they're on a track to get it, eventually to get a degree, a BS degree or BA degree in, in their subject. And now that I think that they'll feel more like, um, you know, they're, they're in their major rather than that they're gonna really start their major when they get out of here and they get to their four-year school. Now, now, now that we we finally found our our hot spot, I guess you know we all we're all comfortable doing what we're doing here, and uh, we're going to carry it on past the classroom. You know, we we all have a name now, Clifford and the Big Red Band. You know, we're going to try to play as many gigs as possible, get our name out there, and keep doing this because we love it. We we have more offerings. Um, part part of of this is. Uh, uh, there's more availability scholarships now that we have degree program. Uh, we have courses, uh, for instance, the courses that I teach um, are new. Uh, the, the history of jazz, um, introduction to uh, jazz theory and improvisation, and uh, they're new you know, these are new classes that have just been recently offered. So our offering, and that's going to continue now that we have that major, all course offerings in music are going to expand. Yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we all want to do this for a living. I mean, I graduated and I got a job out of college and, you know, it helps. It's nice to work a corporate kind of job, but, you know, our passion is music. This is what we love to do and this is what we will do to the day we die. So, you know, keep this going and great things are going to happen. Our college is going to be taken more seriously in the arts, uh, partly because of, of, the, of the, uh, the degree. I know that I've talked to students and they're just so excited and proud to be able to say that they're performing arts majors. 
So uh, I'm excited about that because I see the, the students being more excited because they feel like they belong. They're part, they're part of something, um, a program, a real program, you know, that it, it's in what they're gifted and talented in. David Marowitz is a fantastic professor. He's done a lot for us. Gave us direction that we didn't have, you know. If we were to play a song, we would just jam on it. We could take a four minute tune, make it 20 minutes long. We don't care, just play. You know, when we started listening to him talk to us, he'd say, look, focus, do this, try this, use dynamic. I never knew what dynamic was. I'm in the metal band, I, I play loud. You know, he taught us how to be musicians and now it's, it's kind of trickling its way into everything I do, anywhere. And you know, it's, it's incredibly helpful. And if I wasn't here, it would've never happened. <laughs> What's wrong, Doctor? It started out as stress, it escalated into book bioitis, and now it's the worst case of sticker shock I've ever seen. Is there a cure? His only hope is to sign up for Viking Bucks at the Ocean County College Bookstore.
Warning, side effects for signing up for the Viking Bucks reward program. Allow OCC students to save money, earn points, buy stuff, and redeem online. For every $1 you spend on textbooks, get $1 in Viking Bucks to spend any way you want on books, clothing, or other cool merchandise. You'll even earn points by selling back used textbooks. Plus, get 50 Viking Bucks just for signing up. Restrictions may apply. So how are you feeling today? Since I signed up for Viking Bucks, I have cash in my pocket and all this free stuff. Viking Bucks is the prescription for what ails you. Sign up before you become a victim of sticker shock. Visit the OCC Bookstore online at bookstore.ocean.edu. These young musicians are just a sample of the many talents of the students that attend our college. OCC will continue to expand its boundaries and lead the way with innovative programs in education and athletics. We on Currents would like to give thanks once again to Mark Wilson, David Marowitz and his jazz band, A.J. Trump, and Eileen Cohen. Make sure to tune in to our next edition to see where the Currents take us, right here on Ocean TV 20. I'm your host, Joe Burson, and as always, thanks for watching.